I know that uh, a great inspiration to you uh, and uh, especially for this role was uh, a woman, a woman whose name in uh, Hebrew means song, uh, a very, a very tough woman. Uh, um, I'm going to switch to Italian. Uh, una donna molto importante, una donna molto importante è stata per uh, Rona Lee Shimon e per il ruolo, per il ruolo che Rona Lee ha fatto nel, uh, nella serie. E stavo dicendo il nome in ebraico uh, di questa donna uh, vuol dire canzone. Adesso andiamo a vedere alcune immagini di questa donna che tra poco avremo con noi. Ok. יש לנו חצי שנייה לעוף מכאן. אני וענן יוצאים מהרכב, שולפים את האקדחים ומכוונים אליו. ברגע הזה הוא כופה. אנחנו מקפלים אותו לטרנזיט, ותוך שניות נעלמים משם. קורא משיר פלד, אני אחת משלושת המסערבות הראשונות. Signore e signori, io voglio dare, anche qui sono molto onorato, un grande Baruch Abba Be Italia a Shir Peled. Erev Tov. Erev Tov. Hello everybody. Uh, uh-huh. Can you Ma see me? Beseder Shir... Gamur. Beseder Gamur. <laughs> Beseder Gamur is typical Tel Avivit. Beseder Gamur. Beseder Gamur. Thank you for Beseder inviting Gamur. me today. Uh, uh. <laughs> no, thank you, for, thank you for, for, for being with us. Uh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Uh, I introduce you uh, as a woman who was very important uh, as a role model for Rona Lee, uh, Shimon. Uh, and I, I'm very, uh, I'm very uh, proud to have the chance to uh, talk to you. Uh, and uh, I would like to start my question to you by asking you the same question I, I just asked Rona Lee. Um, we're celebrating uh, uh, Karen Hayazod, we're celebrating the power of Aliyah. So I, I would like to know what uh, was the power of Aliyah, the memories of Aliyah in the life of Shir Pelled. Uh, well, first of all, both of my grandparents uh, was a Holocaust survivors. Uh, they came to Israel uh, after the war. Uh, and I grew up on their stories. Um, also, my father and my father um, dedicated his life fighting terror also. Uh, I grew up as a teenager in Jerusalem during the Second Intifada. And um, all of those events and the memories of my grandparents Uh, led me to, to my position in the army. Um, and for me, it means, uh, I think Ronali put it very well, um, it's a home, uh, it's, it's ours and we have to nurture it and, and keep it safe. Uh, and it's important to pass it on also. Um, I talk about it as my son, he's little, Um, but even though I think it's something we have to uh, talk about all the time and um, keep it alive. Keep it alive. Keep, keep it, it alive. Uh, yeah, Chaya. Exactly. Chaya. Um, I, I just thanked uh, Rona Lee to, uh, make, for, for making my quarantine softer. I heard. Uh, <laughs> Mine <Yeah>. too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, through Fauda, but I have to thank you as well. In other words, I would like uh, to listen uh, in your own words uh, uh, to what extent Fauda and especially the role of Nurit uh, uh, managed to uh, catch the, I mean, the essence, the core of your experience as an undercover agent. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with, uh, with the scoop. Uh, actually, um, I think it's, um, I think me and Lonely talked today on the phone and um, the creators of Fauda 
uh, didn't actually know that women, undercover women existed. Um, it was, yes. <laughs> So באמת. I can tell you, can, can. מה פתאום? They found out just after I, I, I mean, I started to uh, share my story. So I can tell you it's very, very, very authentic. I think um, Ronali is the perfect woman to play this role and she does it so, so well. Uh, and so authentically and um, and you can see by that that um, even though the character was made up um, it's it's so authentic and it's people that came from the the, the actual experience in the field uh, when I first saw Fauda I was I saw uh, Ronali getting uh, dressed uh, to go uh, for the first time into the field. That's, that's actually the scene I saw for the first time in Fauda. And it just shook me. It took me by surprise. Um, it was like seeing myself on TV. Um, so I can say that for me, Fauda is a therapy, actually. <laughs> is a therapy, yes, because... Yeah. Uh... Because I think the, the great thing of Fauda, uh, and I'm not just talking about marketing, I'm just, uh, I want to uh, stress the fact that the strength of Fauda is that it's not only a spy a series, but it's uh, also a love story series. It is so much about, about love, about Akhava, Uh, about the, the, uh, how it's difficult to love <clears throat> in those conditions uh, and, to, uh, and to overcome the, the stress. Uh, is that so for you, uh, Shia? I mean, when, when you do, uh, when you go in the field and through all of my four year service, um, you mainly, You, mentally, you're mainly there. And um, so relationships, even with, with, uh, with a partner, romantic relationships or with your family uh, or friends, um, it looks a bit different uh, because even though you're home, I was a 19 year old girl. And I remember weekends when I used to go out with my friends uh, coming back from the army. Um, So you're with them, but you're not really there. Uh, and it's, it's affecting you in a way. Um, and also you have to uh, show resilience all the time. And um, so it's a bit difficult to be emotional with people uh, when, you, when you need to show re resilience all the time. So, um, so I really relate to that in Fauda. Very good. Uh, do you agree with that, Ronali? And uh, what, uh, what uh, you would like to uh, tell us about the role model that Shira represented to you? Um, I, I, I need to be very, very honest. I, I was looking for Shira. Um, I didn't know she existed. Um, the first season for sure. And sometime between the first season to the second, I got a call, a very strange call from one of the higher up um, military officers um, in one of the special units. And um, I don't even remember why he called me, but I guess he just wanted to talk about Fauda. And I, I asked him over the phone. I was like, look, I really want to know if, is this real? Do we have women doing what I'm doing <clears throat> Oh. And he said, I'm not going to give you an answer over the phone. And I was like, no, but just, but just tell me if they exist. And he's like, I'm, I'm never going to say this over the phone. And um, I started hearing about she. So she was, kind of, I think, me finding out about her and just talking to her. She's such a way greater than life person. Um, She's like Nurit on steroids. I think if she would have told me this, <laughs> I think I didn't know how to, what to do. I think, I think uh, kind of 
treating it as like something that I needed to create, not knowing that it really existed kind of helped. And I think from talking to her, I'm like, I, just, I cannot believe this is real for women. And she did, I'm sure, um, way more badass things than Nolik. <laughs> I mean, it's, Nolik is only like a small part of, of imitating women like, like she, and it was, um, I think hoping that, that it would maybe be possible for women one day. Not that I wish this role to anybody, but, um, it was a, a great inspiration for me. Uh, Shir, uh, are you strong today? Uh, are you stronger than uh, you were when you were 19? Or you're weaker? Tell us. First of all, I have to tell Ronali that if she thinks that I know it on steroids, she has to meet the two <laughs> other girls that were with me. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm like beer or like play or go shoot guns somewhere all we time. we have to do it we have to do it one of them is uh, really really religious now and she has five kids already oh, wow. yes <laughs> uh but we can arrange on something it will be awesome <laughs> i love that uh so i um I don't think that I'm weaker or stronger uh, if I'm comparing myself to me 16 years ago or 17 years ago. Um, I, I developed um, and um, because I never talked about it for uh, all of the, those years with no, no one, I mean, not my family and not my friends. Um, so I think I'm just in, in the past year, and it's just beginning actually. I'm going through um, an amazing experience and I'm finding out uh, new things about myself and uh, myself back then and how much it, it affected my life. Um, and I think it's making me stronger. Toda, toda. Uh, uh, I was thinking that. Uh, during Fauda, uh, all the uh, male uh, characters refer to themselves uh, as Achi, 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 Achi. Okay. Uh, my brother. <laughs> what? 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 No, I'm saying it means my brother. If people don't know in Hebrew what it means. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. See. Uh, see. Achi, uh, my brother. My brother. What's the way to say my sister? <laughs> Achoti. Achoti. Ah, achoti. <laughs> because I would like to listen to more achoti. Achoti, bevakasha. No rak nashi. And uh, before uh, uh, letting the, uh, the voice to uh, the great Leon Lev, uh, the singer, uh, whose name is fantastic, Lev. Yeah. Leon Lev. Metsuyan, Metsuyan, Metsuyan Lev. Before letting the music uh, to talk, uh, I would like you both, Ronali and Shir, to give uh, uh, the women of Kern Hayesod Italy, Kern uh, Hayesod Italy, who will be led for the first time in its history by a woman, I would like you, as strong women, a strong achoti uh, to give them a message. Who wanna, Ronali, you want to start first uh, to, uh, to give the, the, the women of Keren Kayezot, Italy, a message of hope, of strength, as you, as you can express at, at your best. Shiri, do you wanna start? Uh, yeah, sure. So Ronali talked before about uh, the uncertainty of this uh, era or the Corona uh, period. And I think that um, I, I talk about it also because uh, when I was in the field, uh, when I went to operations, um, the uncertainty was always there because even though we planned and make a um, all the scenarios that it can happen, 
uh, it's it's always uncertainty because you never know what what can happen. Um, so I think um, I'm comparing it a bit to 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 now. And um, even though we have a very big uncertainty around us because we can't actually know what's going to happen, um, just don't be panic about it and try to um, be very flexible uh, with with the situation and try to be creative and find um, uh, new goals um, and new things to think about and uh, grow now I think it's a it's a great time to do it uh, with all what's happening around us so um, I wish all of you good luck and uh, thank you for inviting me again. Thank you. Um, I would like to add, it's okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I just want to say that um, I believe in the female power because it has both sides and, and every single feeling. I think that we allow ourselves to feel only makes us stronger. And I think all the softness and, and the broad ability to look at a situation and um, and make the best of it, even in the darkest moments, um, is impeccable. And and I think it is wonderful that it had come. You know, it's been so many years, and now it's the first time that Kiana Isoda is going to be led by a woman. And I think there couldn't be a better time for this to happen. And I'm very proud. And I wish you luck. And I'm sure with all the vulnerability and 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 you know that what makes us stronger is really that and i i wish you all the luck in the world thank you so thank you thank you so both for these uh, warming words i really appreciate and uh, you you told us before not to panic well i i was really in panic tonight all day actually but uh, i it's 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 stupid to be in panic for nice things and for spending an evening with you girls and uh, I will keep you your faces looking at me now I will keep you in my mind and I will remember of you the next time I will panic you will be with me <laughs> and I will be I will be inspired by your uh, brave actions on on TV or live with Sheer and thank you so much and uh, I appreciate very much your your advices and your presence with all of us tonight thank you Thank you. Thank you.